All right, some big news coming in here. ISRO is all set for Chandrayaan 3 launch vehicle. The electrical tests have been completed. People have been invited to witness this historic launch at Sri Harikota. ISRO now all set for Chandrayaan 3. The launch is just about to take place with, uh, of course, people who are keen to watch it, being invited for it. ISRO really gearing up for this historic event the third time around. Uh, this is the third lunar mission that ISRO has announced, Chandrayaan-3. It will be launched uh, in just a little while. In fact, this is uh, certainly an amb ambitious uh, project for ISRO. This is their new heavy lift launch vehicle. It, it, in fact, this uh, what we know after a failed attempt once, this is yet another round and it appears ISRO and its officials, its chief more importantly, is super confident of this uh, uh, of the successful landing. Let me cut across to Pramod joining us, who's uh, tracking those developments. Pramod, tell us the excitement around the Chandrayaan 3, uh, Sri Hari Kota, where the launch is going to take place. What time is it? Um, and and this time, are is the team fully confident and prepared? Abila, uh, definitely the team is fully confident and prepared and uh, we people who also follow the uh, space research are definitely confident about uh, ISRO's uh, uh, plans because this is a third uh, like uh, plan for uh, the moon and earlier also we cannot consider the Chandrayaan to a complete failure because the actual uh, the uh, payload and everything was slingshot, it reached the moon's orbit also only the landing which is an extremely difficult part uh, because we need to understand that unlike Earth there is no atmosphere or atmosphere over here which means the landing should be in a controlled manner. There were some uh, uh, errors and that has been rectified as well. So I'm not claimed that on 14th, earlier he mentioned that the window would be between uh, July 12th and July 19th and uh, now they have decided to the, uh, the trip would be oh, sorry, like on the 14th and uh, around 2.35 it will like uh, the uh, LVM3 rocket will will be launched from the, uh, the Earth and uh, the interesting factor is that we are expecting this uh, uh, particular uh, Chandrayaan to reach the uh, moon around uh, uh, August 23rd or 24th because like it's a kind of like a, a beautiful manner by which the, the, the actual uh, payload will be using the Earth's gravity making multiple circles around the Earth in an elliptical manner through which it's in a kind of using a slingshot pattern it will reach the moon's orbit and then it will start uh, uh, like uh, rotating around the moon and then the third uh, aspect will be done over here. So this is definitely going to be a, like uh, a very important event for ISRO. In fact, to tell the factor, uh, in, like not just with Chandrayaan 3, but uh, ISRO is also have uh, like uh, they are still working on various other aspects about the manned mission and uh, to the moon. And if ISRO uh, is successful, it will be the fourth country to land on the moon, Nabila. All right, fourth country to land on the moon. Certainly a proud moment for India, Chandrayaan-3, that is all set to be launched in just a little while uh, from Sri Harikota. In fact, on the 14th of July is when uh, the launch is going to take place. Thank you very much, Pramod, for joining us. India Today slips into a very short break. We'll be right back with a lot more coming up on the other side.